Today we're building wealth. Hey everyone, welcome to the 16th episode of Ballin' with Spawn. Thanks for joining us today. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Leave a comment, ask a question, and let's get into the show. So, this is how you're really building wealth right here. And this is the difference between making an income and um, getting rich uh, versus building wealth. And an example here is if you buy this eight unit property, right? And I've been using properties lately, but it's just a great way to show it because it's a hard asset, right? You can touch it, you can feel it, you can see it, you can conceptualize it better. So let's just say it's a, a eight unit apartment building and it's throwing off $4,000 a month, all right? Well, this thing over time is gonna appreciate, especially if you pay attention to it, especially if you tend to it, take care of it, get good tenants in there, it's gonna appreciate, which means it's gonna go up in value. And income properties, they're valued off of how much income they bring in, right? So this is a four, $400,000 purchase. LTV is loan to value. So if it's valued at $400,000, they're gonna give you, you know, a 75% to 80% of that in a loan. The bank will or uh, you know, someone lending you money will give you 80% of the value. So I got $360,000 loan here in place on it. That means there's a $40,000 a $40, down payment. And what's going on here is every month, right? I'm just gonna use this pen. Every month, okay, we have year one, we have year four over here. So every month, the rent is really knocking down the mortgage, right? It's knocking down the loan. And so what will happen, all right, over time, let's flash forward now to year four. And this thing, in year four, is now giving you six thousand dollars of income per month. So this thing's now okay. Would you would you pay? Would you rather pay four hundred thousand dollars for a building that's giving you four thousand dollars a month, or four four hundred thousand dollars for a building that's paying you six thousand dollars a month? And I know you're not seeing all the operating expenses, and that's something to take into account. But just if this is all the information you saw. Which one would you more likely buy for $400,000? Probably this one, right? So this will no longer be valued at $400,000. Let's just say this thing is now valued at $600,000. That's the value on the building. Year one, $4,000 a month, value at $400,000. Year four, the rents are up to, you know, if they're paying you $6,000 a month, it's a $600,000 value on the property. Okay, so a couple of years down the road. Now remember this loan to value ratio, right? First off, this mortgage over here is no longer going to be $360,000 you have on it. You've been paying down on it, maybe you've been paying ahead. So let's just say that your loan currently, you've got it paid down to $300,000. That's what the loan is. All right? And so remember this loan to value of 80%. Okay, so LTV, loan to value, 80%. If this thing is worth $600,000, 80% of that is $480,000, I hope. I believe it is. Well, we got 80 times 6, so $480,000. That's what they would give you. The bank would give you that. Now you already have three hundred thousand dollars that you still have wrapped up in a loan, right? So they're not going to give you this entire four hundred and eighty thousand dollars, or you won't walk away with that four hundred eighty thousand dollars. What'll happen is this number will get subtracted from that number. So really, right here, you have unlocked an extra $180,000 of value. And now the cool thing about this is at this time, you can refinance this property. And some people get scared of refinancing and, and stuff like that because, you know, back in 2008 and the real estate crash and everything, when people were refinancing, they were refinancing their homes, number one, so it's not an asset that's paying them. And number two is they would take that refinance money and they would buy a boat or they would buy a car or they would buy something else that's not going to pay them. They'd buy them something else that's not an asset. If you can get this money working for you, that's powerful. All right. Another power 
to another another big time reason to refinance is because this loan might have been you might have been having it you know it might have been a 30 year amortization and if that's the case you're going to pay a lot more interest over 30 years right so the interest amount that you're paying on this loan is a lot so what you can do in this refinance if there's enough cash flow here you might be able to shorten that up to maybe 15 years to have this new loan paid off in 15 years and get this $180,000 out of the property. Well, if you do that, let's think about it this way. $180,000, if you took that and put that to work, that you, know, you took that and you put 20 or 25% down on a new property. Let's just say we put 25% down on the next property just to play it safe, right? So you went out and got a new property. So if you put 75% down, it would be about a $720,000 building. Look at this, windows and everything. Another $720,000 building you'd be able to go buy. And that thing's probably, you know, if you do this thing right, it's probably throwing off $7,000 to $8,000 a month in income. And so that is the way to build wealth, is through investing right and through appreciation and through taking care of your assets paying attention to them taking care of them fixing up the small things keeping your tenants happy attracting great tenants right so doing all that is how you cr create wealth wealth is something that you know to be honest wealth is really never taxed you can get you can get by without ever being taxed on wealth and people are seeing a lot of rich people or wealthy people in the news lately about not paying any taxes this is why this is how it's set up and they found they play they're playing the game so build some wealth, get started, watch previous episodes leading up to this. This is a little bit more complex of an idea. So if you're not really following this one, go watch cash flow, the cash flow video from you know, episode one or two. Go watch previous episodes on you know, the financial, financial statements and everything. And this, and come back and watch this video and this will make much more sense to you. Go build some wealth, guys. Thanks.